Okay, Lee, welcome back to Sparrows Lane. Is it quite strange being back in? Uh, strange, but nice, seeing some old familiar faces. So uh, it, it's been nice. Could have been sunny, but it's been raining all day. But no, it's, it's lovely to see some old, old faces again. So how did it come about? Did Carl give you a call and ask you just to come down just to, to work with the midfielders? Yeah, he just... Um, obviously, I, I know he's... Well, I've got a mutual friend, so... Um, it was just a case of coming in and trying to help out with some of the midfielders. They're, they're, they're young um, and trying to get them to get in the box a bit more and, and to score some goals. So obviously that was my strong point in my game. So just to try and pass on the knowledge to uh, to some of the, the midfielders. Obviously since you came through in, in, in the 90s, we've had a, a large number of academy players coming through since then. Um, were you impressed with, with who you saw out there today, the likes of Joe Rebo, as you concert players like that? Yeah, yeah, I thought they was um, they were exceptional players, but just, again, they're young and we've all been there and need some guidance. You know, I was lucky enough to, to get guidance when I was younger and um, if I can do that and, and make these lads a little bit better for, for the club and for themselves, then, uh, then, then I'll, be, I'll be very happy. What are your memories of, of coming through here as one of those people, uh, one of those young players? Like, do you, do you give them advice out there in the same ways that you, you were coming through as a, as a young player? Did you tell them about your stories of being here? I mean, the, the building's not changed much, is it? So you, you can sort of relate to it. Yeah, well, like all I remember is that how nice everybody was. Um, it was a family club. Uh, and it still is, and uh, it, and it's a good club, you know. Um, so they're, they're they're lucky. They they should realise that they're lucky to to be here and and given a chance because there's so many kids now that want to play football, and um, to be at a club like this, that I think they're they're very fortunate, and and I was. So uh, I, I tried and and grabbed it with both hands, and and I'll I'll try and pass that on to them as well. Like, look, you're good players. And, and, and it's a good place to to learn. So um, I understand that one of the youngsters has just been gone to Everton. So um, it's a good a good place to learn, I think, and uh, and, and a lovely place to be. Your timing is quite impeccable, being a couple of days before um, the Millwall game at the Valley. The last time you beat Millwall at the Valley, of course, you scored a quite memorable goal. What were your memories of that day? Yeah, I remember. Well, I remember scoring that goal, but I didn't realise that. Charlton hasn't beaten Millwall since that day. So, but all I remember is it uh, like a left left foot like ho overhead kick went in the, the far corner. I think Van Van Den Ayer tried to clear it, but he couldn't. But yeah, and we won. So uh, good memories. But I can't believe it's been that long. <laughs> Twenty odd years makes me feel old. Is there anyone from from that time at Charlton that you you've kept in touch with over the years? Obviously, you were very young when you left. You were still a teenager. But was there anyone who you You've you've kept in touch with him over the last twenty one years. I see Cole Lieburn um, from time to time when I was at West Ham. He does the the radio and the stuff. And uh, I just met his wife today, and said that he he helped me get my move to Leeds because he just kept providing for me, and I just kept scoring. <laughs> so, um, but no, Keith. I'd see Keith and and obviously Alan Kerbsley. I worked with him again at West Ham. Um, but no, you, football's a, a funny thing, really. It's like any industry you. You stay in touch for a bit, and then you lose touch, you know, because it's, everybody's everywhere at different times. So, but whenever you do cross paths again, then you you, you say hello, shake hands, and, and it's nice to catch up, like I've just done with Keith Peacock in the restaurant there. So it's lovely to talk about the old days, and and, and yeah, so it's, it's all good. What are your plans now? Obviously, I know you spent a bit of time coaching the the youngsters at Watford, wasn't it, alongside Harry Kuehl, which yeah. must have been a, a bit of a reunion of his, his own right. But what 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 do you hope now to achieve? Do you want to do a bit more coaching and and perhaps get into a first team management role sooner rather than later? Uh, I don't want to be a manager, for one. <laughs> um, but yeah, all, all I've done, like I'm I'm here now, uh, I've come in today. I don't know how often I'll, I'll be coming in. I stand to to the manager. Um, but I just, at the moment, I just want to learn myself because obviously it's different to to playing, and uh, I think the manager is a good one to learn from. I think he's done well in the past, done well at MK Dons, and I think he will take this club further as well. So I think it'd be good for me to to learn and see what what he does, and 
and um, and then obviously pass on my knowledge. I was fortunate. I played with top players, top coaches, and um, I've got a lot of knowledge in it. It'd be a shame to waste it and just sit at home and and do nothing. I'd rather come here and mm. and pass on my knowledge to to where I started. So um, it's like a little fairy tale, if you like. Oh, <laughs>